Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So I am here. You guys have voted. I asked you guys in a poll if you wanted to see a dedicated candle project pan video or if you just wanted me to kind of talk about them in my home fragrance roundups. So you guys voted that you wanted to see a dedicated video. So I think what I'll do is kind of do updates here and then as I empty things, I'll talk about the, like my reviews kind of of the candle in the home fragrance roundup. But this video will be dedicated to the actual progress of using up and kind of how I'm working through mustache. So I think how I'm going to do this is pick 10 candles, update you guys if I'm, you know, getting under the 10, I'll add in new ones, that type of thing. I think 10 is kind of a good number for me to kind of get a little bit of use out of different things and not get too bored. But hopefully, you know, it's not like too much that I won't stay on track, if that makes sense. So I have 11 actually in this intro to start with, but I kind of have one that's a little bit of, um, what do they say? Like a softball, <laughs> like an easy one. Um, maybe it's not the right term. I don't know. So I have 11 to start, but one's kind of an easy one. So I have some candles that are actually either chopped or into tarts, but I did want to still include them because I do count them in my candle stash. Um, by the way, I think I have my inventory linked below. My candle stash is definitely out of control. I mean, like if you can tell all the candles I have stacked up behind me, it's a lot. So like I gotta get working on these. So I do also want to count my chopped ones and like continue to work on them, even though, you know, they'll be a little bit different a visual progress. So the first one I have is actually this chopped homeworks candle of sugar beignets. So I actually ended up getting two homeworks candles at one point of sugar beignets and they came completely smashed. So I ended up just chopping the wax. And so I actually had three of these bags from two candles, like a bag one and a half bags was a candle worth. And so I ended up having three bags. I've used one, I have two left, so I wanna work on one. I There's only 10 pieces in this bag. So that's why this one's kind of like my easy one because there really is only 10 pieces. If I use a piece a day, I'll have it done by my next update. But I did wanna show you guys, I have it open. The pieces are like pretty large. Like this is a really big hunk of wax, it's falling but this is from December, if you can tell. So I kind of feel like I need to get a move on it. Um, I feel like chopped like this, it's just not retaining its scent like it would maybe in candle form and being in this bag and such. So also these bags are just not aesthetically pleasing whatsoever. I just, I want to work on this one. Like I said, if I use it every day for the next 10 days, it'll be gone. So that's my somewhat softball, but also like it's, it's where I want to start. It'll be an easy one to, to get me rolling. So two more tart bags. Uh, the first one I have is Bath and Body Works pumpkin snickerdoodle. And I have them in these cute little, they're really ice cube tray <laughs> shapes. So I melted this candle down. This is such a good candle. Highly recommend. Um, this one has 27 pieces to start. Um, I probably won't finish this one by the next update, so I'll come back and tell you guys how many pieces there are in the next update. It better be less than 27. So this is where I am starting on this one. As you can tell, if I like even it out, it's a pretty full bag here. I just don't know the quality of these bags and like if they're leaching or not. Like it seems like it's okay and they said they were polypropylene, but like they seem suspiciously thin. So I'm just like a little bit leery of them. And then also along the same lines, I have Old Fashioned Cider Donut from Bath and Body Works. So this one has 21 pieces to start. This one has my mini muffin shapes. <laughs> so they're a little bit bigger. I think these ones are maybe closer to like a half ounce or a little bit over. And then the ice cube trays are actually under half an ounce. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I think. Um, so yes, this is how many I have for this 21. Like I said, by the time I update, I want to have progress on everything. So even if I use one cube of this, like I just on all of these items, I want to be able to like either have used, uh, 
like tart thing or be able to draw a new line. That is my goal from this project. So if I work on every, like if I work on one product every day before like from one update to the next, I should have some progress. So that's kind of my rationale. I don't want to just be like skipping out on certain things. So next getting into like the actual candle candles, I will be honest. I do not burn my candles to the bottom if they start to soot or if they start to look grungy. It's either going on a warmer, it's going in the crock, it's going under a lamp, it's going to get chopped or made into tarts. Like it, I'm just not having it. So will you see all these candles burn to the bottom? Likely no, but I'm just being upfront about that. So I will continue to keep them in the project until they're gone, even if I end up using them in a different way because they fussed out, but they may not burn fully to the bottom. So the first one we have, I think I have the most progress on this one. It's been in a project before you'll be able to see it's bergamot waters. So this is a really good one for the bedroom in my opinion. It's sparkling bergamot, pristine blue waters, sugared citrus, creamy sandalwood. It's such a good one. They repackage it all the time. It's lovely. As you can tell, it's been in a project or two, but the bottom line is where we are starting off, even though there are three lines above it. Um, I actually have this one burned pretty well and it hasn't be misbehaved yet, even though we are pretty much at the halfway point. Sometimes that's when things start to go south, but we'll see. This one, I could see it have the potential of sooting, but it's been pretty good so far and we don't have too bad of wicks. So we'll see. Um, if you are offended by like candle wax, like a not fully pulled out candle, click ahead because you are about to be offended. If you are new to my channel and you do not know, I do not care about wax pulls. I know at the end of a candle, if it is at its time and there's wax on the side, it's going on a warmer. It's getting used somehow. So it doesn't bother me. I don't stress about it. I'm not gonna like tin foil cotton ball things to make things work. It is what it is. And I mean, I think it shows like kind of how the candle is to begin with, but also, I don't know. I mean, if I was like, I have to burn every single candle to the bottom, I'd probably care more. But since I know there's so many other methods to use up your candles, like warmers, crocks, chopping it, melting it down, like there's just so many other things that it's not that big of a deal to me. So that being said, <laughs> get ready because this one's pretty bad. This is Almond Blossom, which I like to use in the bathroom, but honestly, it doesn't get burned for very long periods of time. It's got a pretty good, like I'm about halfway through it. Um, there is definitely a lot of buildup here, you guys though. However, I find as you burn down in a candle, that starts to melt like and that's probably why sometimes you get a puny wick but this one's been doing really well for me so far so even though some people might say that's atrocious it's all gonna melt if you put the candle on the warmer or in a crock it's all gonna melt so it's just not a big deal to me so we're at right here if you can tell it looks lower on the outside of the jar than when I hold it up on the inside of the jar but I mean there it is so I don't know I just I'm gonna give it a shot. So this one is Sweet Almond Blossom Vanilla Orchid and Sandalwood. It's a very nice, it's just like a very clean scent in my opinion. So that's why that one goes in the bathroom. Okay, number six. I have Bath and Body Works Cider Lane. I do believe this is the 2020 version. She sure is. This one is actually a really pretty luminary jar. It's not the most luminary, but all these like cutouts are luminary. I just wish I had a couple more. So here is where I am on this one. <laughs> kind of sad because I did start this one last year, but it just, I don't know why it took me so long to like truly get after it and start burning it, but now I really am happy that I am. Uh, the notes on this one are warm caramel, Granny Smith apple, dark brown sugar, ground clove. I don't even know if they offered this one this year in 2021. Um, I don't think in store, at least if they did online. Um, so this one's not so bad. This one I let pull out for a little bit longer. It was pretty caked on the sides, but now we only have that little bit right there. I don't know if you can tell, but otherwise 
the other way around, it's pretty good. Once again, it looks a lot fuller in the jar than I have marked, but I like, I don't know. I, th I think it's where it is. Like I have it marked right here. So maybe it's a little lower. I tried to like hold it up to the sun and mark it, the sun, the light, whatever. So this one, it's okay. I feel like I really like the candle, but I feel like this one doesn't necessarily get super hot. The wicks are a little bit like short so it burns a lot slower because it's not very it doesn't get as much heat this one however <laughs> burns super hot and like crazy it is pumpkin cinnamon bun people really ragged on this one it's warm cinnamon roll pumpkin spice vanilla frosting you guys it's so good it's like so so good so this one's a little bit easier to see i don't know what's going on here with all this white stuff uh I don't, I think the candle was like that when I bought it, but also as it's like burning down, it's going away. So I don't know. Um, you'll see some residue like this. That's because when I put out my wicks, I do the like twirling thing. And so the residue gets up here. Not ideal, but it's better than blowing it out. So it's whatever. Um, here's the marking. I think I already showed you that. I'm doing pretty good. I've kind of started on all of these, so I feel okay about them. This one, the wicks look like they're so tiny and I trim them every time, but also they get so hot every time. And I feel like they're decently spaced. I don't know, it's it's wild. So this one only has this little guy and I burn them about the same amount of time generally, especially these ones in my office. So, I mean, you can tell this one burns hotter just by the lack of residue on the side. So just because this one's a hotter burn, it may go faster. However, it may get sooty faster, so maybe it won't go as fast. I just don't know. Okay, number eight is Aldi's Huntington Home Pumpkin Apple Fritter. So this one you can kind of see right here. I tried to mark where it seemed to be the most pulled out because it'll be the easiest. So I marked this one right on the side. The notes on this one are bakery, pumpkin, and vanilla. In my opinion, this is like pumpkin apple bakery vanilla. They they have apple on the front, but not on the bottom. This one does better the longer you let it go. So I'm kind of conflicted with it because I use it in my office. It's got some residue on the sides for sure. I'm this going to drive some people so crazy. But the wicks just aren't like the best placement. They literally look when the candles like pulling and you can see you know the wicks they look like they start here and go like to the center like they're tunneling inward almost versus like going straight down and gluing to the bottom there's a sticker on the bottom which i could probably pull off and see like where are the wicks but they look like maybe they all connect here and then they like go out to where they're supposed to be it's just the weirdest thing so they're kind of you might be able to like tell how they're bent they literally look like they're like ding. <laughs> so i think as it's going down like they're getting closer together maybe that's just a fluke and that's not actually how this is i do actually have two others of this candle so i guess we'll find out soon enough but yeah here's my update on this one it's not like the best progress or beginning i guess you could say because i feel like it just hasn't pulled a ton but I don't feel like it gets very hot. So this is one I, if I can, like to leave going longer, but also the last three I showed you, I like to do in my office and I'm here like getting ready and stuff for limited amounts of time. So I don't have hours and hours to burn things if I'm not like working from home or on the weekend. Okay, number nine, we have Bath and Body Works Pumpkin Apple. I'm really excited for this one to burn. I was going to say like right here, but there's a smudge right there, of course, or like build up. <laughs> so maybe I could move that because I really just want to see it through the window. Like that's the best part about this candle, I feel like, is the fact that this window is supposed to be kind of like a luminary. The notes, this is the classic red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, fresh ground cinnamon, clove butts. Literally a classic farm or er, apple pumpkin pumpkin apple they're all the same but this one's good um typically buy one of these every year here's the progress on it this one also is burning pretty hot but also the wicks are pretty far apart 
which I think is making this one pull fairly fast. Um, I don't know that I need to like major trim the wicks on this one. Like the wicks look fine right now. I don't know that I've been trimming them really in the past. So yeah, maybe the next time I can just let it burn a little bit longer and it'll fix its issue where my, where my apple is right here. That's such a bummer. <laughs> the one spot I want to be able to see it is the one spot it's not pulling out. So there's that one. Um, next is number 10, Homeworks Country Apple Butter. So I do definitely want to make sure I'm at least including one Homeworks not chopped <laughs> candle in these like every update, make sure I'm at least working on one because I have a decent amount and they just don't store well. The way I store my candles is in this cube organizer and they all like this holds three Bath and Body Works stacked perfectly and it goes three deep. So it can do nine on a shelf. These just don't go, it's just not working, you know? Okay, this one is because they have such a big base. So they just don't, they don't sit the same. This one's Caramel Apple Sweet Vanilla Toasted Nut. It literally smells like country apple butter. It's so good. This one's a little smoky because it was going and then Corey like put the lid on and it got blown out. So it's a little bit questionable, but when it gets going, it's good. So I have this one marked right here. That seems very, very low compared to where it is here. But I think that's where it's at. So. I'm almost done. I'll come back then. Sorry. Um, so it looks like it's halfway, but also that just doesn't seem accurate. You know what I mean? But look at that. So we'll see. Also, this one gets some pretty big mushroom tops, but I feel like all these candles do. You just have to trim those off. I feel like for me, the flames do the best on these when I cut the wigs almost in half when I trim them. I know that sounds crazy, but if I only do the mushroom top, I feel like the flames are so tall and blow around so much, which I don't like that. So I typically do them a about halfway down and I feel like I get pretty good performance that way generally so um this one burns pretty hot but it does take quite a while to pull out just because it is such a big circle I know some people use hurricanes on these which I've kind of looked into because I think it would help so the last one and I think the one that's going to be potentially not the most struggle, but it might be a run for the long haul, is the Goose Creek Trick or Treat. And it's black, so I think it's kind of hard to see my black Sharpie mark because it's all the same color. So this one, it doesn't even have a lid on it because I personally, these ones don't get burned because they soot way too bad. Also, the texture of the melts of this just doesn't work. Like if you melt this whole candle down and try to make it into melts like in your uh, muffin tin or anything, the texture is a mess. Don't try it, it's so bad. So I am just putting this one under the lamp. Basically what I'm doing is just warming it from the lamp down, um, from the top down like by the lamp. It releases the fragrance as the wax is melted and like pulls out and then as the top layers of wax no longer are scented you just like pour them off so that's kind of why it has this like marking right here so I tried to mark it on the back here which is very hard to see but hopefully as the wax goes down you will be able to see that more I guess we'll find out um but also when you pour off like this it makes it hard to put the suction lids back on because it like pulls that in and out and it kind of makes a mess. So I honestly just left the lid off and I just leave it right under the lamp. These ones are tall enough. They get pretty close to the lamp. So I think it'll be okay. When I probably go to put more of these ones on, when they get lower, I'll probably prop them up with something so they're a little bit taller because the closer they can get, of course, the better it will be. So this one's got like three or four inches on the other one. So this will probably just be the one around the longest just because it is so tall and large and it's I don't want to say it's getting used up in the slowest way but it's kind of getting used up in the slowest way if that makes sense so 
This is the last one. Those are all 11. Hopefully the one will be an easy one and out right away next time, but we will check in and see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.